Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can make scrollable back, uh, background and make something appear in the screen which seems to scroll as well. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, probably you will you are familiar with the collision function. I just write it here so don't waste time when I write the actual code. Okay, so as you can see it is nothing in here uh, as uh, in the uh, previous tutorial so we can start to make the game actually not the game actually uh, not for now we just make a, a preparation for the game so we need an x and x and the y coordinate oh an x and the y coordinate and uh, just set this zero <coughs> because we start from zero zero coordinate okay the next thing is uh, to load a few image and for that we just uh, set a few new SDL surface variable like background and image okay actually make this background because it will be a little interesting so I've just opened up GIMP so we can start to make it actually make this image pretty wide so at least 2000 uh, pixel wide and uh, height should be the height of the screen so 480 okay that's it we created it okay I make it a little smaller so you can see it okay here is it alright there is one important thing which you have to uh, uh, take care of so uh, just draw some mountains and I don't know so on so just some mountains okay the important thing is you have to copy the first part so the 600 and 400 and the 800 uh, uh, 480 a square to the end of the screen I will tell you why in later when we will make the actual code so make it I just uh, uh, select it so set the X and the Y to 0 this uh, with uh, 640 actually I set it here so in down here in the toolbar actually that's what it's called I think okay so here is it I just copy it and uh, so just copy and paste that's it and now I just move to the end of this uh, end of this image so right here if you press uh, control it will not go out from the image okay that's it so I just put this image right here and uh, that's it now I just make it continuous so I delete uh, this part of the line as you can see and I just make uh, this continuous so I just use my uh, pen and make it continuous like that okay and now I just fill this part with green so the part in down and the upper part with uh, blue like that okay nothing interesting just as simple as that okay this I this will be our background image this will be our this will be scroll actually I want to show you the scroll uh, right now so here we set a uh, SDR rect uh, as the rect structure which will contain the x y coordinate the width and the height and whenever the player is moving we we move the background as well so like that oh not like that uh, like that we move the background as you can see and whenever we uh, so whenever we are in the end of the screen we just move it back to zero and start it over again so it will seen that it is moved continuously without 
any stop okay when we are and we go back and that's why it is important to make this rectangle in the first rectangle exactly the same as the rectangle in the in here so it will not seen whenever we change the image I think that is I understandable okay and now we have to just save it as a BMP image to our project folder in this case it is my desktop call it background the BMP okay and save it all right we have just saved it okay and in here in the program we have to just open it so open it make background equal to FDL load BMP and background dot BMP okay we just loaded the image so this background image okay so we said that the rectangle I talked about in a moment ago so FDL rect called it camera because it's like a camera like right so the X and the Y will be both zero oh okay so the X and the Y will both zero when we init the position and the width and the height will be the width and the height of the screen okay it will be uh, good to use constants and you know but for now just uh, no, width equals 640 and camera dot height equals to yeah uh, 480 so that's it we just set up the camera and we always show this camera uh, to part of the image which this camera says okay we need to set a boolean array which will contain where we go you know just the basic uh, moving tutorial as there was it earlier so this will be a bool b uh, with two elements just right left for now we don't go up and down later we maybe we can do that but for now just uh, right and uh, left so we set zero zero at the beginning okay so in here in the event loop we just said that if the FDL key down happen oh not like that like that so if someone c uh, just press the key we use a switch casement switch event dot key dot key sim dot sim and we get what key is pressed actually okay one good thing about IDE is yet you don't have to press the tab so much that's the only thing I love the IDEs so integrated development environment like code blocks it will automatically do that for you isn't it better I have to press the tab 10 times to get here never mind so case uh, SDLK left so if the left uh, actually make further right so if the right key is pressed then we just set the B uh, 0 to 1 and break it from for the better performance okay so case SDLK left is pressed then we set the B1 to 1 and break it okay and break it right here too oh and I just copy this to key up because uh, you know it's easier okay change this to key up so when the user release the key we just set back these uh, boolean values to zeros alright then then here we go to the logic section so we use the same method we did so if b0 is 1 so if it is true then we just uh, increase the x and increase the camera that x oh actually you know what I don't do this one because you know it will be very very slow I make a variable call it uh, con const int speed equal I don't know 5 so we will go 5 pixel per frame 
because you know it's a little quicker so speed okay and here as well it is important that the X and the camera that X should go to the, the same amount okay and uh, we have to check that if the camera X is greater than the maximum width minus the width of the screen okay I don't know is it clear or not but we will do that so the maximum width of the image is 2000 actually you can find it out with the clip rect uh, clip rect uh, function mm, what clip rect member the SDR rect okay so yeah I just write it for now with numbers it is a back practice to do that because but uh, this is just an example program right so minus the width of the screen this is 640 so if the camera dot x is greater or equal than uh, this number so this is 1360 uh, so if it is greater than this number then set it back to zero so camera dot x equals to zero uh, we don't set the, the x back because the x will always show us the absolute coordinate the uh, camera will always just show us the relative coordinate in the image okay we do that with the b1 so else if b1 is pressed not bn1 just b1 then we do almost the same thing except we just decrease these things so x minus equals speed uh, camera dot x minus equals speed and if if camera dot x is less or equal than zero oh, is less or equal than zero then uh, you know what just set it back to this coordinate okay so then the camera dot x x equals to 2000 minus 640 so basically we do uh, what I showed you in the game so whenever we end we are at the end of the screen uh, we just set back so whatever we at the end of the image we just set back the coordinate of the image to zero and don't forget that the uh, 640 and the 800 and the 480 uh, rectangle are the same in the end of the picture and the beginning of the picture so we will not see uh, how is it change okay and now we can actually show the image we do the logic thing now the end render thing comes in so we have to bleed the surface sdl bleed surface the first parameter is the background so where the second is uh, where to put uh, so what part of the image should be uh, blitted uh, we uh, set the camera so we always just set the camera uh, as the image that should be uh, blitted and uh, there we want it to the screen and where do we want to put it in the screen we want to zero zero coordinate so we press null because that's the default and the last thi thing that I s uh, uh, forget uh, uh, always is the SDR flip which will actually show anything uh, uh, which will show an anything in the screen okay and uh, now if I do anything well which is uh, highly adaptable we can compile the program okay there is a little problem at 81 I write camera instead of camera so now we can compile it and we can run it uh, write that okay here is our uh, image so if I press the right key and I press it a lot of lot of lot of time then it just go 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 without end and it will go without end actually 